Hey guys, it's Rachel from Tiermore Farms and today I'm just going to show you a really quick tip to help you deal with squash bugs. Um, squash bugs are basically these nasty little stink bugs who love any of your vining plants. So things like squash, um, cucumber, zucchini, watermelon, pumpkin, any of those types of plants, they're very susceptible to squash bugs. That's what the squash bugs like and they like to come suck the life out of them, literally. Um, they don't go after mature fruit. They're actually biting into the vine and damaging the plant. And they are really, really difficult to control. Um, not an easy pest. You basically just have to deal with them completely by hand. So I wanted to show you a really quick way that I do that today. And so what I do is I take some just plain old duct tape and I roll it up um, into a spiral like this just so I can have it on the end of one or two fingers. And then I look for squash bug eggs. And those little seed looking things here on the backs of the leaves. Usually I have seen them on the front of the leaves sometimes too or the top. Usually they're on the back. Those will hatch out into little baby squash bug nymphs. So I take my duct tape and I very easily just kind of peel them off. And it's that simple just to pick those eggs off. And you're going to have to do it at least every other day but probably every day. Um, every day I come out there's more eggs. <laughs> because the adults just keep laying them, but you'll find them on the backs and bottoms of the leaves and picking them off with duct tape is super easy. Then you can just throw the duct tape away and you don't have to try to, um, try to squish them by hand, which would be really difficult and tedious. My squash is also suffering from a fungus right now, which is why we have, and it's prickly, so I'm not gonna touch it, this yellow, brown dying flesh that is due to a fungus that's not due to the squash bugs um and we've always had a difficult time with fungus here on our garden it seems like no matter what we plant if it's one of those plants that's susceptible to fungus which any of your vining plants like again pumpkins cucumber zucchini squash all of those are sensitive to fungus um, plants like tomatoes and potatoes tend to get a blight and we always struggle with that. So if you have any suggestions about that, please leave them down below because I'm all ears for that. The things that I know are supposed to help is rotating crops to different areas, which we've done. And honestly, it seems like no matter where we plant, whatever it is, if it's a fungus susceptible plant, it's going to get it no matter where we put it in our garden here. At least is what it seems like. So far I haven't seen any real difference rotating just on our land. It seems like this, the fungus and the blight is everywhere in our garden land. And um, mulching is supposed to help as well. These are not mulched. My squash isn't mulched. I probably should mulch it. But my tomatoes and my potatoes are mulched and they're still getting blight. So not sure what to do about that each year we try to just basically maintain and keep them alive for my squash it may be kind of a lost cause because they're looking pretty bad but they keep putting out these new young leaves so like these are all new so they're trying and i'm trying to help them by at least keeping down the squash bugs so anyway i just wanted to show you that quick tip because this duct tape and here's another let me bring it the duct tape makes really quick work of an otherwise tedious job. And here, when it gets close to the ribbing, sometimes it can be a little more difficult. And every now and then, it will do a little bit of damage to the leaf. Um, but most of the time, for the most part, they come off just with the nasty little squash bug eggs and none of the leaf. So it makes it a lot quicker. Hey guys, I also found a couple of nymphs, which this has happened where I have evidently missed a clutch of eggs on this plant. And so I found some nymphs in various stages and that is what the immature squash bugs look like. And I just grabbed them on my duct tape too. So there's one that's getting a little bit bigger 
and when they mature they basically look like a stink bug so this is useful for grabbing up the nymphs as well if you see any that you missed and they hatched out on you anyway thanks for watching if you have any tips for dealing with this nasty fungus stuff please leave them in the comments below i am all ears and you can follow me on facebook instagram and twitter at Tiramar Farms, all those places. I'm mostly on Facebook and Instagram the most. I'd love to see you around there and be sure to subscribe below as well. Thanks again for watching and I hope I see y'all around next time.